Choking occurs when food or foreign body obstructs in the windpipe, which results in blocking the flow of air. If this is left alone, oxygen level in the blood will be decreased, and upon long duration, it may lead to brain damage in severe cases. In order to determine either someone is choking or not, please follow these steps. Choking victim, will shows universal sign that is, clutches their neck, cannot speak, unable to breath and cough, and in such cases, their face might turn blue. And sometimes victim will present with, high-pitched breathing sound. Firstly, ask whether he or she, is choking or not. Next, determine whether victim can cough or not, and if they unable to cough, it is a severe airway obstruction. Immediately activate the emergency medical services, and do the Heimlich maneuver, and if the obstruction is removed, observe the victim until they are completely fine. In severe cases, if victim become unconscious, please start cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. While in mild airway obstruction, it is suggested to encourage the victim to cough more, until the foreign bodies come out from mouth and removed. If this is persistent, it is a severe airway obstruction. Please follow the same steps in severe airway obstruction. Steps when performing Heimlich maneuver. Step 1. Stand behind victim with legs apart and warp your arms around the victim's waist. Step 2. Make a fist with one hand. Step 3. Place the thumb side of your fist, against victim's abdomen, that is two fingers slightly, above belly button, below the breastbone. Step 4. Grasp your fist with other hand, and press your fist into victim's abdomen with a quick and forceful upward thrust. Step 5. Repeat thrust until the object is expelled from mouth, or the victim become unresponsive. Sir, are you choking, sir? Sir, can you cough? In the case of choking and someone who is unable to cough, we must perform hemorrhage maneuver. To perform hemorrhage maneuver, first, go to the back of the patient. Second, ask the patient to spread his leg and put a leg in between of his leg. Step 2. Grab your fist, put it two fingers above his belly button. So first you locate his belly button, two fingers above, and put your fist at there. Then, for hemorrhage maneuver, you have to pull in and upwards. Pull in and upwards. One, two, three, go! In case of choking, if the patient is able to cough, it is a mild obstruction. Encourage the patient to cough forcefully to expel the obstruction. If the patient is unable to cough, it is considered a severe obstruction, perform hemorrhage maneuver. At any point of time, if the patient falls unconscious, perform CPR right away. In case of choking and the, and the victim happens to be a pregnant victim or an obese victim, hemorrhage maneuver is not recommended. In such cases, we recommend chest trust.